Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be building a new character. Today we're building Charlotte. She is a character that came out quite a while ago. She came out during I believe the 4.2 or 4.3 update and she came out alongside the character Farina who is one of the best characters in the entire game so she was generally overlooked and not used that much but today i want to try to use charlotte for the very first time she's a super fun character has some really cool animations with her camera that i actually really like and today i want to try to build her to her absolute maximum so without further ado let's get in to today's video oh yes and also quickly before we do start today's video i do just want to let you guys know that we are gonna be doing some big big giveaways we're coming really close to 90,000 subscribers which is a huge number when we hit it we're gonna be doing a ton of crystal top-up giveaways and all you need to do to enter is click a little subscribe button but with all that being said let's get in to today's building video i think a new standard that we're gonna do with these build videos is we're gonna start off with changing the character's glider because these gliders never match the character and and it somewhat annoys me so we're gonna change these at the start of every build video now i think the chicken wing gliders may look good with her nah the red doesn't really match the frost nah the song ones Ooh, the music one is pretty nice i do like the music one yeah that music one is nice i'm gonna keep this one on her for sure but anyways welcome back everybody today we're building a new character i'm pretty excited about it charlotte is a character who i never really had the opportunity to build even though i really liked her character farina just kind of took priority over her since i had to like crown her and do all the stuff for her but that aside charlotte let's get into building you so first thing we have to do in order to build a good character is of course ascending them to their maximum level and trying to level them up as high as you can now we aren't going to do level 90 today because level 90 is insanely expensive but i believe we do have the mats for at least level 80 so let's take her all the way there or maybe not we're missing a couple things we need to kill the big mech we need to collect some barrel conches and we need to get some more gears should be easy enough let's start out with killing the experimental field generator should just be another joke of a boss honestly every boss in this game is kind of easy when you have the most op character in the game navia let's see how fast we can kill this thing zhongli shield official bird and boom put up the burst i'm gonna need to collect a bunch of those little shield particles there we go we got the maximum burst off and now that thing's gonna teleport but watch this goodbye oh my gosh look how much damage that did one more time nice there we go we got them give me three and we'll be done with it let's go we got three and a goblet defense cool <laughs> well defense goblet aside we have more we need to do that boss was probably the easiest part but now we have to do a little bit of uh clockwork mecha grinding Okay, and I think that should be everything we need. Let's go craft what we have. Craft. I think I needed five of them, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to craft five of these boys. And that should give us exactly what we need. Charlotte, ascend. That's right. I'm an, I'm an idiot. I need to get barrel conscious. Okay, never mind. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, and I think that's everything I need. Let's go check Charlotte. Do we have everything to ascend her finally? Yes, we do. I see the exclamation point. That means we're good to go. Ascend, bam, and can we take it to level 80? Yes, we can. Perfect. I have exactly enough EXP books because after that, my EXP book count is going to sit at a clean, uh, a clean 15. Oh boy. Well, now that we have a level 80 Charlotte, you guys know what time it is. We're about to get our guaranteed five star. We got two wishes loaded up here, which means guaranteed five star time. Because every single time you level up your Charlotte, you are actually guaranteed to get a five star on that standard banner, no matter what. Never comes on the first, but immediately when we use that second roll, we're gonna get it. 
Oh my goodness, I thought that was it. Oh, why do you trick me with the four star? Uh, it's a Favonia sword. Unlucky. Anyways, now that we're done leveling up our Charlotte, I think it's about time we got to building her. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is, of course, choose out a weapon. And now we have a lot of weapons. We have weapons like Skyward Atlas, which can work because she does actually scale with attack percent on her burst. Essentially, attack percent is going to determine how much healing she is going to do. Although her own personal damage is not that high and the cost for her burst is quite high, coming in at an energy cost of 80. So we're probably going to want to go with a weapon that has a little bit of energy recharge and it can help us supply particles a little easier. Some options could be the Prototype Amber. The Favonius Codex also works as well. If we want to give buffs to the rest of our team, we could go a weapon like the Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer. Oathsworm's Eye is actually a really good weapon for her because of the, again, the more attack percent and the increase in recharge after using that elemental skill. I think for today's video, we are going to go with Oathsworm's Eye. I, I really like this weapon for her. It doesn't really match her design at all, but it of course has a little attack percent substat there and is going to give us more recharge as well. We are lucky enough to have a C4 Charlotte, so we are going to get a bunch of cool constellations here, increasing her burst by a little bit. Her C2 increases her attack. C4 helps a little bit with energy regeneration, but we're still going to need to level those talents. Let's start leveling up all of Charlotte's talents. We're of course going to be leveling the skill and the burst as seen in the talent upgrade reference here. First is the burst, second is the skill, and then you really don't need to level up that normal attack. There is not a particular reason to. Unless of course you're a main DPS Charlotte, and if you are, respect. That is something I might do for a future video. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see main DPS Charlotte or not. Anyways, we're going to get the 6-6 six, six here, or 9-6 technically. And then, of course, we're going to want to level up this skill a little bit more. So, uh, mm, uh, I need gears again. I can craft three of them. I need more than three. Please recover one, Dory. No, you traitor, Dory. I literally just need one more. Stardust exchange. Yes, I can craft three. And then with those three, I can craft one more. Let's go. And with that, we are going to have a seven, one, nine, Charlotte, which I think is pretty decent. We could maybe get level eight on the skill, but I don't think that's all too important in our overall kit. So the last thing we're of course going to worry about is those artifacts. Now the artifacts for Charlotte are pretty simple. We're going to want to prioritize getting as much energy on her as possible, along with getting a bunch of attack percent. And then if you want, you can of course use crit rate on the hat if you have Favonius, but today we of course are not going Favonius. So we are going to instead go for something like maybe healing bonus or attack percent. The sets they recommend us here are Gladiators and Emblem, which is a little weird because from what I've heard, you really want to prioritize getting other characters attack up with Charlotte. So a set like Noblesse or Tenacity can work really well. So I am going to choose not to listen to Genshin's recommendation and go with what I think is going to work. So first, we're going to go for a healing bonus hat, which we can just steal straight off my Bennett. This one has a little recharge. It has some crit rate. Not the best piece ever, but it'll do. We're of course going to want an attack percent goblet and we actually have one here with some recharge some crit rate so this could be a really nice piece actually let's just get three enhancements on it let's just get a banger here right off the bat big banger piece all recharge all recharge okay i think that's three recharge actually oh no that's two recharge two defense not bad though we will take that piece and we will put that on our Charlotte, that's a decent piece right there. For our flower, we're going to want one with, again, just a ton of energy recharge. And we actually got one right here with 24% recharge. We're, of course, going to take that. Feather is going to be the same thing. We're just looking for recharge and attack percent. We got one with 16 recharge here. We're going to take that, slap it right on Charlotte. And then all we need is an off-piece sand. And I'm sure we can find that in really any set. We're going to go for energy recharge again, because energy recharge is super important on her. And we're looking for anything with an attack percent substat. We got one here with some attack percent, some crit rate, some crit damage. I like this piece. Let's put it on her. Perfect. And with that, we're going to have a four piece noblesse Charlotte. And just from her substats alone, we're going to get another 115 recharge. This is a really good Charlotte. Let's see her final stats. We're going to have 15k HP, 1.8k attack, which is pretty decent for the healing we're going to get from her. We're then, of course, going to have 26 crit rate to 112 crit damage. Not the best split ever. We're going to have some healing bonus. We're going to have 215 recharge on top 
of the extra recharge that we're gonna get from Oswarm's eye. So that's gonna bring us up to like 250%, which may be a little overkill, but hey, anything for Charlotte, right? And that, my friends, is gonna be our finished Charlotte build. Let's see how good she really is. And of course, we're going to take her for a spin in the Spiral Abyss. So Charlotte is, of course, going to serve as like our main support. She's going to be a cryo support who's going to be doing a lot of our reactions. And then she's also going to be our primary healer as well. So we can really throw her with almost any character. She's a pretty universal character who can work with pretty much any team comp. I'm thinking today we're going to try with my Ayaka Shenha comp. We can throw Zing Cho in there for some freeze. And then, of course, we're going to throw Charlotte in there in the fourth slot. And let's see how this works out. Okay, Charlotte, it's your time to shine, baby. Let's go. So she, of course, is going to be the last one to go in our rotation. We're going to throw up her burst, her skill. And look at that. She's going to get so much recharge back. And then after switching out of Charlotte, we should probably switch in Ayaka to get that no bless buff. But as you see, we're killing things. Come on, go camera. Ah, wait, what did that do? Oh, wait, if I hold it down? What in the world? What? What is this? Ah, enter. <laughs> I can take photos in the abyss. That is so goofy. I didn't know you could do that. I can just take photos in the abyss if I hold it down. Say cheese. <laughs> uh, that may be my favorite thing you can do with her, to be honest. And you know what? She could actually probably work pretty well as a main DPS. Can you imagine her with like Zing Cho and maybe Yelon? She'd be a really good cryo main DPS catalyst. Just the ability to freeze characters is honestly pretty cool. Of course, she's never going to be the primary one on the field, so we won't get to see much of her. But she is still affecting our battle just by supplying us with a lot of healing, looking stylish. And of course, applying all that cryo, which we can use to freeze the enemy most of the time. Hey, Masanori, say hi. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, that might be honestly my favorite thing in this whole game. Oh, goodness. Okay, put down the burst. We're now going to get our supply of healing. And then, of course, apply cryo to the enemy constantly as well. Unfortunately, that burst is kind of short, to be honest. Which is probably the, the most unfortunate thing about her. I wish that burst was a little bit longer. I always forget I can't hold down the E. I have to click it. I can't hold it down or else I just go into camera state, which I don't want to do. Okay, burst again. We get that cryo up. We now get that permanent freeze. And now Riosli goes in and we just kill things, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, she's looking good. She's looking real good on the back line there. Okay, one last thing that I want to try. I have to try this out. There is nothing stopping me from trying this out and I will do it because she is a catalyst character. And I'm sure you guys have seen my team comp. You know what we're doing. I have to do this. It must be done. Mona, burst, Charlotte, E. And now what we do? Boom. <laughs> nice. There we go. Okay, it's not doing as much damage as I want it to. Uh, but I had to see it done. I love doing that, man. Again, we must go. Get it done, Charlotte. Get it done. Yeah, 9k, Charlotte. This isn't even with a DPS build, by the way. This is just a fun little noblesse build. And she's still doing a crap ton of damage. We get that flick pickup. And then we, of course, take a picture of Masanori. Say hi, Masanori. Masanori? Yeah, nice photo. Save that to the album. Oh, that honestly might be our best use, to be honest. Nice. And with that, I think we're done testing out Charlotte today. A really fun character who I think has a lot of uses. And to be honest, my favorite one may may just be this camera. I think this is really cool. You can just go around, zoom in, take photos and stuff. I think that's really fun. And her kit is pretty nice as well. May not be the best character in the game, but definitely one that I had a lot of fun with. And hey, it's Genshin Impact. You can build any character. They all work. So with that being said, that's going to be at the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to see you all in the next one. Peace.